Good day everyone, I'm Pat Diaz and welcome to Understanding English Pronunciation. Today we are talking about what are the English individual sounds? Let's begin. These are the letters of the alphabet in English. You know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and stuff. Now, these letters can be divided into two groups, vowels and consonants. We use these letters for spelling words correctly. But when writing, reading, speaking and listening, in fact, we give sounds to those letters, including in our mind. So, this word is not P-E-T, no, it's pet, pet. In this case, the word pet is spelled with three letters and is pronounced with three individual sounds. P, E, T, Pet, Pet. Okay? So, in here we can say that the English individual sounds or phonemes are the minimal unit of speech that form the words in the English language. Now, the hard part in English is that pronunciation doesn't follow spelling. Again, in English, pronunciation doesn't follow spelling. For example, the second word is spelled with three letters, but has only one sound. O, O. Then we have this other one, it's spelled with three letters and pronounced with four sounds. Tax, tax. And even other words share the same set of sounds, one and one. In English, this difference between spelling and pronunciation sometimes gets a little too much complicated. Thought, though, thought, through, thorough, throughout, throw, and tough. And that's why in English everybody asks, can you spell it for me, please? Can you spell it for me, please? Very good. So, how does it work? Well, this is possible because in English one phoneme can be the sound or the pronunciation of different letters. Or vice versa, one letter can take on more than one sound or pronunciation. Let me explain it. In English, there are only five vowel letters, but 12 vowel sounds. Now, if we take the vowel sound O oh, oh, as an example, well, this one phoneme can be the sound or the pronunciation of several letters. For instance, it is the sound of the letters O and U in the word cousin. cousin. It is also the sound of the letters O and E in the word DAS, DAS. It is the letter O in the word SAN, SAN. And it is the sound of the letter U in the word JUMP, JUMP. So in this example we can see that the sound O, O, one sound, is present in these four words with different spelling. Cousin, does, son, and done. Very good. On the other hand, let's take the letter U as an example. So this letter can adopt more than one sound of pronunciation. For instance, the U is the sound I, I in the word busy, busy. It is also the sound O, O in the word up. Up. The U is also the sound U, U in the word put. And even take the sound W, W in the word quite, quite. So in here, the letter U takes on four different sounds of pronunciation in these words busy, up, put, and quite. All of them spell with U. Excellent. So now you know why we need the English individual sounds and why they are so important in English pronunciation. 
Now, how many English individual sounds are there? Well, there are 44 sounds in the English language. They can be divided into three main groups. Number one, the vowel sounds. Number two, the consonant sounds. And number three, the diphthong sounds. However, there is a fourth group that we are going to study in this program, and they are the allophones. Now, in order to improve your English pronunciation, you have to learn how to produce all of these sounds correctly. Now, in our next video, we are going to see the English short vowel sounds. Well, that's all for today. Don't forget to practice. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.